Okay, so what's up guys? Welcome back to Code with Clinton. So I'm glad to announce that the Django REST framework tutorial series is back again. So about some months back, I started a series on building a RESTful API for an e-commerce web application. But due, but due to some reasons, I had to pause the series back then. But now again, I think I'm back again for it. So currently we're on episode 8. So if you missed the previous episodes, the link to the playlist of this of, of this series is in the video's description in the start. So if you need the link to the playlist, you're gonna find it in the video's description. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to serialize relationships in Django. So that's what I do. We are getting started right now. So in the last episode, we stopped at pagination in the Django REST framework. So right now I'm gonna show you how we can serialize relationships. So let's so let's so let's do that right now. So right now, let's go down to let's go down to our project in a stand so right now this is my project hierarchy in a stand so i have the api folder this api app over here so that app is where i write all my api codes so i also have the store app i have some other apps here so i have the store app i have the user profile so this store app helps to hold our models in a stand so the user profile helps to hold everything about the users but it's all fine what, what, what I want you to know right now is that all the API codes are written inside of the API app you get so we'll see, we'll, okay we are gonna we are gonna be importing our models from the store app you get so that's that what that's so that, that what you're gonna be doing right now so I'm gonna open my store app right now open the models.py file so this is models.py file over here so I'm gonna show you something significant over here if we check closely if we check out closely now you find out that this product model and the category model are quite related in the stand they are related to a foreign key in the stand we check in the if we check, if we check the product model you find that the category and the product are related to a foreign key in the stand so i'm going to show you how we can serialize these relationships in the stand so on the default i'm going to show you my browser right now by default during the as uh, during the serialization you can see the category this is this is this is the category field over here it simply prints out the id of the category there are times you might want to print out this category as a full object you understand there are times you might want to simply print out this there are times we might want to print out the string value of this category this is, this is what i mean over here so let me show you what I'm talking about. There are times I want to print out the title of every category, this string value in a stand. So I'm going to show you how you can serialize relationships in Django. So that's what that you are getting started right now. So I'm going to go down, I'm going, I'm going to go down to my code, go down to the API app. That's where I write all our all the app, all the codes for for building the RESTful API. So I'm going to go down to our serializers.py file. So right now you can see now we have our we have our product serializer. We also have the category and we also have the category serializer. So I want to show you how we can I want to show you how to serialize relationships you get. So right now if right now you can see now we have this category. We have, we have this category here. It is an attribute. It is a field in the product model in the stand. So. But right, but this category you see is also a model on its own. From what I showed you here, it's also a model on its own. You can see it right here. But and, and as far as it's also a field to the product model, you understand? So through a foreign key. So right now we can simply say that the category is the, the category is the parent, while the product is the child. So right now I'm gonna show you two ways on how we can serialize relationships in a stand. So on the on the default, you can see what is happening here. On the default here, you can see that the category is simply outputting its ID in the stand. But there are times you might want it to display its all all its fields as an object in the stand. I'm gonna show what I'm talking about. And there's also time we might also want it to display the value of its string function in the stand. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you two ways on how we can serialize relationships in stand. So, right now, this is the first method here. So, do well to watch the do well to watch till the end. So, this is the first method here. So, go down to your serializer. Go down, go down to serializers with PyFi. See your serializers with PyFi. This is in your API app. That's where you write all our 
all our codes for the rest free API. So uh, currently, this is my this is my civilizer.py file. So I'm here currently. So how do I go about this? So it's super simple. So what I want to do now is this now. So I'm going to create. So I'm, I'm going to bring out this category field. I'm going to bring it out right now. So let's do that right away. So just on that here. So it should be on the same line as a class. You should make sure it is not inside of the class tab. It should be outside of the class. As, as, a, as a, it, should, it should be outside of this meta class, not inside. Make sure it is outside of the meta class. You understand? So once it's dead, so I'm going to call this called what category. So this is the first method. I'm going to show it two ways. So let me say category should be equal to civilizers. Civilizers dot the string related field the string related field which I expect string related field so yes now so this is what I want to do now so right now after I've done this now you're gonna see there's gonna be this right now it's, it's gonna switch from showing me the ID to showing me the what was it called to showing me the value of the string function we have here under, under the category model so let's see how it works now so to the browser my page is still running so my pc is kind of i don't know why it's acting like this okay don't worry about this error that's from the pagination stuff so, if I, so right i'm going to refresh the page now refresh this page and enter so right now everything is working fine you can see now our category now is showing us the value of a string function which is the title which is gaming you understand that that's, that's our category so you can see here it also shows us this one says null it does not have a category this one says game so all of them right now are simply saying gaming 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 so let's see what's happening so go down to let's see the third tab let's go down to the third pagination so let's see what it says so this one says media so you can see this one says vegetables so that's a category over there so right now we've been able to switch from the default category to the string method you understand so i'm going to show you how to output your category in an actual object way so let's so let's so let's do that right now you understand so go down to your code now so to your CLS, so go down to your serializers.py file go down to your serializers.py so once you've done this now so all i want to do now is this now make sure that this one comes okay right now how do you go about this now i can see right now we, we have our category we must make sure you create your category serializer so I already, I already have it created already so that's fine so i'm going to simply set category in category to category serializer understand category serializer so done putting your parentheses so now one thing is i can see it's showing this thread on the line on then it's nice saying you can see our category serializer, our category civilizer has been underlined with a red color you understand that, that's an error you know why that is occurring is because it's because we can't find category civilizer because it is under us yeah so you need to, you need to make sure that it's on top of you need to make sure that it is brought on top of product civilizer you understand so right i'm going to cut it from here and put it on top must must, must be on top so you, so you can assess it so right now it's on top now right now it exists on the page so now this is how it's going to be you get now so what we just did now we have to serialize the category it's having serialized now so i have to set category to category to category to, to category serializer understand so right now i'm going to run my server again it's broke because of that error so we're going to run the server again and then i'm going to see the change on the browser so run server so right now our server is up and running so i'm going to go down to the browser again now so let's refresh this page now i think go down to the page one let's see so we're on page one now so you can see now if we check down you can see category now you can see category it is now in an object form it has all the details over there you can see everything if you scroll down again you can see you can see you can see category over here i think it's perfect now so right now we are no longer outputting the id of the category we are not output, we are, we are not outputting the whole object of this category field remember that category is a separate model on its own so 
right now you can see the whole content of category you get so that's it now so right now I just showed you how we can serialize how, how we can serialize relationships in Django you can either do it the default way whereby we're going to have the ID of the category being outputted or you can simply use the string method where you're going to have the value of the string function being displayed or you can simply use this serializer method whereby we're going to actually create a serializer for our category model and then assign the serializer to the category field just what we did over here i really hope you learned something if you did learn something from this please drop a comment for me just say something i would love, love to hear from you guys so i'm going to see you in the next video so do it to subscribe like and share this video see you in the next video